What's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to show you all how I color fill on my uh, Taurus G2C, but it'll work for any handgun that has uh, any kind of like engraving on it. The only thing is certain things like the serial number and stuff, because it's not deep enough, it will not, uh, it will not stay in there. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and cover what all you're gonna need. So you will need nail polish. To be honest, I found the cheaper nail polish is actually better. The only reason being is uh, if you decide to strip it and redo it, the more expensive ones are harder to get out of there. And the cheaper ones come out much easier. As you can see here, I stripped this in maybe three minutes where I used like a silver and it looked really cool. I liked the silver and uh, it was a higher end nail polish, I guess. It was more expensive. And that took me probably about 20 to 30 minutes to get everything out of there. So the cheaper nail polishes, go to Walmart, it's like two bucks or something like that. Or if your lady's got one sitting around something, or if you are a lady, you might have one sitting around. So you can get this relatively cheap. So not a big deal. Next thing you will need is nail polish remover, but not just any nail polish remover, non-acetone. So this one I believe is a Walmart one as well. And if I'm not mistaken, it's like two bucks, something like that, it's fairly cheap. Uh, sometimes you can look up and it'll have it, they'll have it at Dollar Tree. Uh, when I went to Dollar Tree, they only had ones that contained acetone. Apparently acetone will screw up the finish on the gun. So you wanna get the non-acetone one. Next thing is cotton balls. You won't need this many, but I just grabbed some out of the bag that was sitting there. Um, so you'll need some of those. And I grab a microfiber just in case. Um, makes things a little bit easier for me. And you will need to have a handgun to be able to do this. Without a handgun, you're not going to be filling anything. So, yep. Yeah. So let's get started. This is a fairly simple process. There's not a whole lot to it, so I'm gonna open my nail polish here. Well, that's not good. So I opened my nail polish here, and I'm going to make sure you like push it in there. You want it to get inside the lettering and not just lay over it and like have air bubbles or any of that fun stuff. So. I'm laying it on pretty thick. That's just, I've had good uh, outcome with laying it on fairly well in there. So there it is, laid on, put the cap back on. Then you can just take like your cotton ball or whatever, just run it over it. Okay, so that sat for maybe about five minutes, and now I'm going to take some uh, of this acetone-free nail polish remover. Saturate the cotton ball a little bit. Cool. And just lightly rub the outside of it to get the excess off. off of there dry it off a little bit quicker like that and boom and there you have it now something I do that's a little bit extra that you don't necessarily have to do is I'll take like a little bit of rim oil or something like that just dab a tiny bit on my finger Okay, and then I just lay it on there. And that just kind of, I don't know, the nail polish remover kind of gives it a weird finish that I'm not a huge fan of. So that just clears that up. Now you can take all your little parts that you remove from this, 
you don't have to break it down fully like I did. I just tend to do that because I like the idea of being able to clean off all that nail polish if I want to. So yeah, that's all you gotta do to color fill your handgun. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of new things to come. Here in two days, I'll be picking up a Taurus G3. Um, if you noticed, I took my <clears throat> True Glow TFX uh, Tradium and Fiber Optic sights off the G2C. Um, on Lakeline LLC's website, it says that they uh, fit the G3, so I'll be throwing those on there. And Sunday, which I probably, I'll either come out with a video either Sunday or Monday. I've got a bunch of targets and stuff. We're going to go out there, shoot a ton. Um, I'm going to break in the G3. I'm going to use it with the new sights, and I'll make a video on that as well. So just check, keep an eye on the channel, subscribe, and watch out for my future videos. All right, y'all have a good night.